uh, blaming on seasonality, dwindling interest, or traders away on holiday. But Bitcoin is ending on a down note for a second consecutive month, even with one of the most potentially positive developments for cryptocurrencies in a while. The world's largest digital asset had been mired in a tight trading range for months until a steep drop in the middle of August dragged the price of Bitcoin below $26,000. Traders chopped it up and parked to bond yields, climbing to the highest in more than a decade at that time. Uh, since then, Bitcoin has struggled to regain its footing, uh, not even the uh, aftermath of the court ruling uh, that appears to pave the way for a long-sought U.S. exchange-traded fund that invests directly in Bitcoin. Uh, after jumping 6% on Tuesday on the ruling, Bitcoin is down for a second day at around 26300 uh, bringing in a monthly drop uh, to about 10%. Uh, enthusiasm for crypto has dissipated after a scandal ridden in 2022 that led to the collapse of several major participants. The waning interest can be seen in areas such as perpetual futures, one of the most popular derivatives contracts in crypto markets. Open interest, or the total number of outstanding contracts, hit the lowest in more than a year, and even Google searches for Bitcoin, or cryptocurrency in general, have hit five-year lows. And uh, just about every metric you could imagine from a trading perspective is lower, said Stephen A. Lailetz, chief executive of FRNT, a uh, financial encourage and institutional platform focused on digital assets uh, beyond a handful of larger players and miners. Trading, he said, is at uh, its it incredibly depressed levels. Uh, he added that this is especially uh, pronounced in North America uh, on Tuesday. Grayscale Investments LLC, one what some industry observers are calling a watershed victory when a U.S. appeals panel overturned the SEC's rejection of a plan to convert the business of the military and make it Pantazza's adversion. Advocates of Lyons said that an ETF could result in a gush of retail cash. It has been a painfully quiet month for the cryptocurrency, but this week has been the exception, said Fiona Singoto, senior market analyst at City Index. The grayscale news has provided a short-term boost, but with regulators still keen to tame the wild west of the financial world, this story could be more drawn out. After in the first half surge of around 80%, Bitcoin is down around 13%. In July and August, it had tumbled 64% last year and still trades at less than half in the all-time high of around $69,000 uh, in late 2021. The grind higher in global yields comes as resilient economic data challenges the view that central banks' rates are peaking. Higher interest rates generally lessen the appeal of alternative investments such as cryptocurrencies. Still, crypto advocates remain unbroken. All bull runs are driven by new money coming into a market, said Noel Acheson, author of the Crypto is Macro Now newsletter. In the case of crypto, where is that new money going to come from? Uh, not crypto investors, they're already involved. Uh, it'll come from macro funds who for now have their hands full figuring out why. Stock valuations have been inhaling helium and just how much higher can bond yields go than 